यू नो हम खिलाड़ियों के पास तो आवाज होती है इनफैक्ट हम कॉमेंटेटर्स के पास भी आवाज होती है होती है ना वो तो आप सुनते ही हैं खैर अब अंपायर्स के पास भी आवाज आ गई है क्योंकि वो तो कनेक्ट करते हैं ना जब टीवी अंपायर के पास जाता है तो कहीं ना कहीं अंपायर की आवाज भी सुनाई देती है लेकिन हमने आपको ऑलरेडी एक अंपायर की आवाज सुना के दी वृंदर आठी से आप सुन चुके हैं आज हम किससे बात करेंगे आज हम ऑन ऑन फील्ड अंपायर के बॉस से बात करेंगे एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव बॉस नहीं ऑन द ग्राउंड बॉस वो है मैच रेफरी और मैच रेफरी तो बहुत सारे सुने हैं आपने देखे भी हैं जब टॉस होता है तब वो मौजूद भी होते हैं ग्राउंड पर लेकिन वो मैच रेफरी क्या क्या कार्य करता है वो दिखता नहीं है लेकिन काम बहुत सारा करता है और जब फर्स्ट फीमेल आईसीसी मैच रेफरी की बात हो तो फिर हमारे लिए तो वो स्पेशल ही है एज ए स्पेशल एक हमारे आज के गेस्ट है उनका नाम है जी लक्ष्मी जीएस लक्ष्मी तो हम ऑफिशियली जानते हैं लेकिन हम इनको लक्ष्मी अक्का कहते हैं हम मतलब क्रिकेटिंग फ्रिटर्निटी के लोग इनको लक्ष्मी अक्का कहते हैं क्योंकि अक्का मींस एल्डर सिस्टर ये हमसे वैसी बड़ी है और जब फ्रिटर्निटी में जब मैं खेल रही थी और जब ये खेल रहे थे तो इनको सब लक्ष्मी अक्का कहकर बुलाते थे तो हम भी इनको लक्ष्मी अक्का कहते हैं और आज भी वो नाम चेंज नहीं हुआ है मैच में हो या मैच के बाहर हो ऑन द साइड हो या इन द ग्राउंड हो मैं इनको फिर भी लक्ष्मी अक्का ही कहकर बुलाती हूँ सो Welcome to different strokes uh, Lakshmi Akka of course GS Lakshmi and uh, congratulations for all that you have achieved but i know it's been a long journey if i look back from the time you started well you started much earlier than me to where you are today it's been a long journey so first and foremost how have you seen this journey uh well uh, as you said it has been a long journey and at the end of the day when i sit back i feel satisfied uh with whatever i have achieved like uh, uh, as a player what i had set out for i couldn't achieve that but as an official i think i have come closer to it and it's very satisfying to say the least well now we know that it's been a long journey but a lot many people who definitely follow you want to know more about you also want to know how has it been a long journey so let's start with first things first I know you've been a player और आप बहुत सारी टीम्स के साथ भी खेले हो स्टेट टीम्स की बात कर रही हूँ और अलग अलग टीम्स के अंदर भी खेले ऑफकोर्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द स्टेट टीम एंडिंग एट द रेलवे जोन वगैरह वगैरह सो आप बताओ कि हाउ ईजी और डिफिकल्ट वॉज इट टू स्टार्ट द जर्नी एंड देन अडेप्ट टू डिफरेंट टीम्स एंड डिफरेंट प्लेइंग कंडीशन लाइक इट हैज बीन वेरी डिफिकल्ट एस एच एडेप्टिंग लाइक प्लेड फॉर एज इज मैं Uh, I have played uh, for right from my under under 19 stage. I have played for Bihar, then I played for East Zone, then I played for then I came down to South. Then I played for uh, Andhra Pradesh. I led the side. I played for South Zone. I, then I played for uh, I led the South Zone team. Then I graduated to Railways. So I played with a whole lot of teams. adapting was never a problem for me because i could adapt to in every team uh, very quickly like for for most of us you know we wanted to play cricket for you was cricket by choice or by chance do you want did you ever want to play only cricket and did you want to play a sport were you a sports person so cricket as such I, uh, when i started off it was not by choice it was by accident actually i would say uh because when uh i used to play gully cricket with my brothers and all but i never knew that there was a women's cricket structure as such so it so happened that in my 10th standard i got very poor marks and i was i, I come from I, i i was studying in jamshedpur so with those marks we had only two colleges uh, women's college and the least preferred college after seeing my marks they refused to give me admission they said with this kind of marks we are not going to give you admission so then we were left with the best college in the uh, in the city so when we went there we with le- least of hopes of getting it so then they said uh, this the same thing was repeated they said we can't give you with these marks of 10th class so 
we were on the crossroads my parents were on the crossroads as to how to go about it so then uh, we spoke to the uh, principal of the college then she came up with an idea she said is she good at any other extra curricular activities other than other than um, her studies because with her marks that she got in 10 she wouldn't be getting any seat in this college so then my father came across and he said i don't know how far she is good at but she plays cricket with her brothers but i don't know how good she is at so then she called the college uh, coach and asked him uh, to check out whether i was i would be an asset to the team so the coach came he gave me the ball that was the first time i was holding a cricket ball as such otherwise i was playing with the tennis balls with my brothers so i had a natural bowling action out swinging action so as soon as and i went in in my chudidar and chappals only and i gave the uh, a trials so as soon as he saw my bowling action and the way i took the catches and all he just came to the principal and he said just don't look behind give her the admission we want her in the team she will be an asset to any team as such वाह 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 क्या बात है तालियों वाली बात कर दी आपने ये तो आउटस्टैंडिंग बात है भाई डेफिनेटली यू नो कहाँ से शुरू हुए कहाँ पहुँचे एंड एवरी डे इज अ न्यू चैप्टर सो कुडोज टू ऑल योर हार्ड वर्क सो डेफिनेटली व्हेन यू लुक बैक एंड से किस किस को कहाँ कहाँ क्या क्या मिला तो दिस डेफिनेटली रिमेन्स राइट ऑन टॉप सो सो वाई आई हेयर ऑल दिस आई आई फील दैट इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग स्पैन दैट यू स्पेंड विद द गेम बट हैट्स बीन अ वेरी शॉर्ट करियर So in this in this career of yours was playing for India ever as a target for you when you started or while the journey was going on See when uh when we started uh, like when I I started my career in 1986 so at that point of time uh, I was not bothered whether I was I'll go into the Indian team or not I just enjoyed playing cricket that's it so i didn't have any purpose that i or any aim that i should go and play i never thought i was that good a uh, bowler to make it to the indian team it was just that i would just wanted to have good fun playing cricket that's it that was my only motto when i started off but then other people used to say that there is a good bowler who has come up she has a neat and clean action which is very uh, rare in those times so in 90 uh, then suddenly a uh, mm, uh, day came when my father expired actually in 90 so since i come from a south indian family so people were pestering my parents my mother that you have to get her married and all so i had to get married uh, in 90 my father expired 91 i got married and then immediately i was into the family way so i had to take a sabbatical क्या इस पूरे करियर में कभी मुझे याद है आपने एक बार ये जिक्र किया था कि आपकी स्टोरी के अंदर ना वो थोड़ी फिल्मी ट्विस्ट है जिसको हम फिल्मों में देख के कहते हैं अरे ये कहाँ से शुरू हुई कहाँ हुई और आपकी कहानी के अंदर भी एक ऐसा फिल्मी ट्विस्ट है कि एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन लेना था और वो एक इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट चल रहा था है ना ऐसा कुछ इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन वेन आई वॉज ऑन द मैरिज डे आई गॉट अ टेलीग्राम फ्रॉम माई सर स्टेटिंग and you have to come to bombay for the match but i couldn't uh, that was a day of my marriage and i couldn't go that was a very like i would say i was on the crossroads uh, you can say because year was and that was the year when shanta and all had retired and i we could our batch could just walk into the team because we were the next batch of uh, pace bowlers but unfortunately i couldn't make it because it i was getting married on that same day uh then i went into the family way so i had this then when i was getting married i told my in-laws that say cricket has been a passion please don't stop me from playing if that if you agree with that only i'm going to get married those so they agreed with that then i got married got into the family way so i had to take a two years of sabbatical uh, almost one one and a half years of sabbatical after my daughter was born after six months i came back i started my practice i played for railways got into the railway team warming the benches for four to five years mm, from 95 to 99 then i told my captain just relieve me because age is catching up you have to relieve me so then 
very reluctantly she relieved me in 99 and in 99 that was the year i got into the india i got selected for india but then i uh, it was very short uh, in 99 from 99 to 2000 i toured indian team which went to england and then again my career got a break that uh, uh, again i couldn't get back into the indian team so as a player i have lost out on 4 5 years of my prime time because of all these happenings in my life so ever in your career i'm sure there was not once but probably more than once was there ever a time where you had to choose this or that and in a in a life changing decision uh, making mode is what i'm asking like both are very important decisions to be made or the decision is very important uh while the event is on and it's a very massive event was there ever a choice this or that for you when i came to know that i was going to be a mother i was in the family way i i was in the crossroads i was literally crying i said what is happening with me i can't pursue when i had an opportunity of getting into the indian team i was getting married then when i had an opportunity of continuing my career i was on a like uh, Mm-hmm. on the family way so i was you won't believe i was almost going to abort my child to pursue my passion but the doctor who was who was uh, going to get uh, to whom i went she counsel uh, i mean and she said see cricket you can always uh, since it's a passion you can always pursue but motherhood you never know so it's it's up to you you take a call and come tomorrow morning and i said no madam i am very clear i want to pursue because i have already lost out so i want to abort my child and i want to go ahead and pursue my passion so she said fine you come tomorrow morning uh, i'll get the abortion done but then when i get, went there in the morning i literally went there to get my child aborted but then something struck me then i said what the doctor told also is correct i can pursue my passion later on also but i don't know whether i can become or i can't become a mother that is not in my hands so let me uh, give up my passion for the time being so that was that was a crossroads which was i was on and i think when i look back uh, i have no regrets and i am very um, happy to say that i choose to have my child i have a 30 year old daughter who is happily married and staying in canada So when you heard the news that you will be appointed as the first female international match referee from India blah 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 how did the news come to you and what was your reaction when the news was broken to you and who, and who did that so uh, in fact when i was i got the call on that day uh, on i remember may 14th uh, so i got a call from bcci that this may come up so just be prepared uh, but i was very busy I, i was in railways and i work in i was working in a public relation department i was very busy on that day with my office work when this call came so i said and they were asking for my uh, bcci asked for my uh, pics and all to have a press release so then they said icc would be releasing it and then we'll follow it up so i said pretty fine but i was like okay let it come then I, then we will see So I was busy with my office work, and at night, one o'clock, I think at one p.m., I got a call from Crick Info. So she said, "Congratulations!" I said, "For what?" So she said, "No, you have you are the first woman ICC match referee." I said, uh, "I don't know about this news, but let me check." She said, "No, no, it's all uh, BCC has already given a re- release." So, so that was the time when I went and saw, I checked in the BCC website, and then. Yeah, uh, it took time for me to <laughs> the news to sink in because it. I never uh, imagined that I would be the first person, but um, it took time and it was a hectic one week's time because with lot of interviews and all coming up. Um, yeah, it was very, very, very satisfying. Is it a lot easier now to uh, become a match referee than in earlier days? Or अब आप commentators की तरफ मत जाना मुझे पता है आप commentators का नाम जरूर लोगे but कोई बात नहीं but match referee की यहाँ बात हो रही है तो is there a curriculum uh, that they can read? Is it a more uh, defined role now than what it was earlier? Yeah. So now uh, what I was when we started we never knew that there were these many opportunities, right? 
so now there are so many opportunities when you are a cricketer when you are playing only you can i think you can chart your way like if you want to be a commentator or if you want you have so many opportunities for the, the girls who are playing in this age they have got lot of lot of opportunities they can become a coach they can become a commentator they can so lot of avenues have opened up so it's for them to chart their way and if they want to become a match referee as such i think uh, they need to prepare start preparing uh, they should know they should take out they should speak to the match referees what are the rules what are what are the what are the expectations of a match referee from different stakeholders they should know about that uh they should know be upgraded about the laws the, uh, about the um, what what is what what is expected of a match referee and all i think they can there are a lot of materials right now uh they can start preparing uh, uh once once they leave cricket i think they they can um, start with uh, knowing the laws and all uh the roles and responsibilities of a match referee everything is documented i think they can start the preparations straight away mujhe pata hai commentator ka role to aayega hi aayega future dekhenge to player ke baad commentary ki taraf hi dekhte hain mujhe pata hai you coming back at me but it's okay aap senior ho aapko allow karti hu doesn't matter it's okay chali but you know when when you when you look back at the career and when you say that yes you've had a long career do you have any regret Do you have any regret? जरूरी नहीं है होना इसलिए मैंने दोबारा पूछा है एंड इफ सो वट आर दिंग्स एट यू फील यू कुड डन बेटर इन द पास्ट और एंड प्रॉपली नाउ वेन यू सी इट आर यू मच मोर सेटिस्फाइड पर्सन हाउ डू यू सी इट आई वु जस्ट आई डोंट टू से दैट सी गेटिंग लाइक आई हैड लॉस्ट आउट ऑन एज अ प्लेयर आई कुडन हैव अ लॉन्ग करियर एज एन इंडिया रिप्रेजेंटिंग इंडिया आई डेंट हैव अ लॉन्ग करियर सो दैट वॉज वन थिंग विच वॉज uh one regret that i had in when i was not playing when once i stopped playing so i had that regret that i couldn't have a long career as a india player but then god gave me this opportunity of becoming a first match referee right so i wanted to have a long career so i wanted to establish myself get a good name as a match referee so and it's a uh, in cricket nothing is like we, you can't say that you have done it because it's a continuous process you learn things you still need you learn lot of things so is the case with uh, officiating also as a match referee so my dream was to officiate in a final that has also uh, transpired because i officiated in the finals of a t20 world cup finals of a um, one day world cup so lot of things which came my way and uh, i feel very satisfied that have come this long uh, and i want to make it even more i want to officiate in lot of test matches now i think maybe that is one more thing that i would like to that is my next dream to officiate in a test match be it a women's game or a men's game so officiating as a match referee in a test match is the next uh, aim for me or goal which i'm looking at I'm sure you'll continue to do well. Wish you all the success and more and more times that you get to shine. हालांकि मैं I do wish that you get more World Cup finals. But एक बात मैं जरूर यहाँ बता दूँ कि जितने World Cup final में आप खड़े रहोगे, उतने World Cup final में definitely India नहीं होगी, चाहे men या women. क्योंकि match referee अगर India का है, तो उनको match officiate करने के लिए नहीं मिलता. So while I wish you the best of success, but I also wish that somewhere down the line the men's and the women's team are playing world cup finals but i wish the best for you thank you so very much for all your time and milti hu aapko ground pe sikka uchhalne ke time pe zarur milungi aur uske side mein baat bhi karungi aapse thank you very much